Hi guys and thanks for finding my channel and watching this video today. This is basically an empties video. I've been storing up my trash for the last four to six weeks and it needed chucking out so I needed to do this video for you, okay? So first up I'm going straight in with some toners, right? So my empty is by Nivea and it's the refreshing toner for normal to combination skin which is what my face is, normal to combination. And I really enjoyed this. It was actually quite refreshing. Whatever I was using beforehand, maybe, I don't know, maybe that was a bit harsh. I'm not sure, because when I actually started using this one, it was really refreshing and soft to the skin. And it does actually say it's hydrating. It's got vitamin E and it's got Hydra IQ, whatever that is. But whether it was the vitamin E, it just felt like it was doing nice things to my face rather than stripping it of all the oil that's in your skin. I'm not sure, but I really liked the toner. So when this was empty, I wanted to replace it. I couldn't find the normal combination skin one, so I had to get the combination to oily. And I like it almost as much, definitely almost as much. This one is supposed to sort of more purifying rather than refreshing. So this is supposed to have an all day effect on your oil accesses. So it's going to keep you slightly more mattifying. So that, that's an okay thing because I do get a little bit shiny come the end of the day. Um, so I didn't mind that at all. So I've just started using it a tiny little bit. I like it. I want to replace it though back to this one when I finish this one. Okay, but on the whole I'm enjoying Nivea. Um, I've also for my micellar water I'm using a Garnier one at the moment. It's not quite empty so I couldn't throw this one in the video but I've already replaced it with a Nivea micellar water because I was so impressed with these and wanted to try out and see what the micellar waters were like. And speaking of Nivea still, are they doing well in my video today? This little eye makeup remover, the combination, it's the double effect eye makeup remover so you've got the oily side of things mixing with the toner side of things so you shake it up, mix all the product together and then pour it onto a cotton pad, take your eye makeup remover off. That's the empty one, just to prove that it's empty. And this is probably about my third bottle of this now. I'm actually really enjoying it. it. Takes the makeup off so easily. Doesn't irritate the eyes. I can sort of rub it around and really work into the mascara. My eyes aren't sore or itchy. It's just very smooth product to use on your eyes. Next up is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb tissue mask, sheet mask basically, I'm sure you've seen these around and it's super hydrating, apparently you put it on the face, clean face for 15 minutes and it's supposed to have a hydrating effect for a whole seven days. I don't know if that's right or not, I can't really see the effect, especially from the mask, I enjoy the luxury of having the mask on, in fact I think I left this one off for about half an hour while I was scrolling through my YouTube. Um, so it's nice and refreshing and then you, you just get so much fluid and liquid on one of these masks so you're just left with loads of it and you sort of rub it everywhere and and then just wash it all off after 15 minutes it says so i'm really enjoying it i've used two of these now i haven't got a new one to show you that i'm going to replace it with but i definitely will try another one of these because i am enjoying that product okay next up product that you know quite well I'm sure but this is the Pore Professional by um, Benefit this one's the empty one love it everybody loves this well, I think everybody loves it everybody I know loves it um, yeah it's just a really good primer it fills in any pores that's what I like about it it's 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 kind of like a mattifying primer if you've got larger pores I don't know here or on your chin um, I like to use this one because it sort of fills and smooths everything in so I like it. I mix it up with all my other ones on a different daily basis depending on what I want from my makeup but I liked it enough to repurchase it and I'm so glad that I've got this one. Next is a serum which I love. I think I'm on about my fourth one of these. This is the new one. This is the empty one. This is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it's the brightening serum with the extra vitamin C in it because I love that. I have talked about it before. It gives a lovely glow to the skin and with the vitamin C in it, it's supposed to help with any pigmentation on your face and lighten and brighten and hence dull the pigmentation. So I think it works. That's why I've replaced it. It feels nice on my skin. So um, yeah, like I say, this is at least my third one of these. What I haven't replaced, and it's not particularly 
but I don't like the product. It's just this one from Superdrug. It's again another facial serum and it's the Naturally Radiant. Radiant. It's their own brand. Um, it's a two-in-one so it's supposed to be a moisturiser and a serum. So basically I would put this one on my face and just to make that product last a little bit longer I buy a cheaper serum and use that on my neck and sort of around the top half of my chest and neck area. Um, I probably will repurchase it for that purpose, but I'm using this one actually on my neck. So a body lotion that I haven't actually replaced this with one that I'm going to show you because what I want to use up is all my Christmas body lotions that everybody buys you. And you know when you get like a perfume gift pack, so you get your perfume bottle and you get the... Um, body moisturiser to match in the same scent. I had a couple of those kind of kits, um, not just from my perfumes, but I had a Laura Rashley one, I had a little kit from Jules and another kit, so it's all got body washes and body creams and lotions to match and scrubs. So I sort of want to go through all of those, get those used up before I go on and buy another big bottle of something or a big tub of something. Um, I've also got a body shop one to be fair that I'm going to use but I do really like this one and I like it even, it's weird, I like it in the summer because it leaves a nice sort of sheen like so it leaves your skin looking really well moisturised, that's what I like about it but then I like it in the winter because of its extra intensity for dry skin. So in the summer it's nice because you've got more of your skin out so it looks glowy but then in the winter it's really good because your skin's drier so you're getting the hydration from it. So well. I also like a little bit of a tan. Come January we're all looking a bit pasty aren't we? So I used up this one which is a body moisturiser with a hint of a tan going on in there. This one's from Dove, their Derma Spa range and this is Summer Revived for fair to medium skin. It's quite it has got that sort of fake tanny cookie biscuity scent that everybody talks about. I don't actually dislike that scent, um, but I don't sort of put it all over my body because then I do find it is a bit smelly through the day. I can kind of get a whiff of it when I'm sat at my desk and I'm sort of thinking something's not really smelling a bit like fake tan. But I do obviously put it on my arms, that's the main bit that's showing at this time of year. Um, but yes, it's nice, but when I bought a new one, I replaced it back to the Garnier Summer, Garnier Summer Body. This one you can get for medium to deep skins and fair to medium. I have actually bought both. I think this is the fair to medium, so I really like this one. It, it again, has got a scent to it, a distinct scent, but again, it's quite a nice, it's a slightly more refreshing scent, so I like that one. So the Dove didn't get it this time. But it may, I might go back to it, just depends. But I do actually quite like this one. So, so nearly there. there, last couple of things. This is makeup, this is concealer in fact. This is by Maybelline, this is the Eraser. Now, this one you might say, still a little bit of product left there. Can you see? Yeah, a little bit in there. The reason why I've replaced it, and I have with a new one, I'm in the shade Light. It's the Perfect and Glow Concealer, is I've had this for so long. I think it's actually okay for 24 months but I know I've had it longer than that. I used it religiously a very long time ago, then I went off of it because I just tried a different concealer pretty much every time I wanted a new concealer and I just never reached for this one. Then I went back to it around Christmas time and actually started to really enjoy it again. It gives really good under eye coverage, blends really well with the beauty sponge, so, sponge, so I really enjoy it. But I just thought, you know what, I've had it so long, I just need to ditch it, which I did. And I bought a new one and I've started using this one and I'm glad I've repurchased it. The other concealer, well I call it a concealer, it's actually a highlighter. Um, but it's the concealing highlighter if you know what I mean. This is the Dream Lumi Touch by Maybelline. Again in the colour ivory or light or fair or something. Yeah, ivory, I'm in, 01. This one's all looking a bit manky and look at the state of that brush. It's so splayed and fanned out that I just thought, you know what, there is still product in it, but I need to buy a new one. So I got my new one. So I really like this product. I use the eraser first to sort of get the dark circles hidden and out of the way. And then I just to put a little bit of highlight sort of to brighten the eye area. I just go in over the top with this one. So that's my concealers. And one more thing I wanted to mention in this empties is 
nail varnish remover. This one's actually from Primark and it's one pound. The sponge has gone a bit manky in there now and when you put your finger in it, it um, the bits of sponge are sort of breaking off so I'm going to replace it. But I don't know, I expect you've probably seen these, but instead of like the bottle and your cotton pad or your piece of tissue and working it all in, getting all your nail varnish off, I just love these little pots that are coated on the inside with a sponge and it's full of nail polish remover. You just stick your finger in. I'm not going to do it now because I painted my nails yesterday. Stick your finger in, wiggle it around, move it around the pot, take it out, nail varnish is all gone. Two minutes later, job done. So there's lots of brands actually that make these. I only pick it up because it's quid. And in fact, I might have even got two for a quid. <laughs> but I just thought I'd mention that as well. So I hope you liked my empties video and just a little chat about what I replaced my empties with. So if you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, that'd be really good. I've had one or two new subscribers and it's really cool. So if you could do that, that'd be fantastic. And then you'll be around for my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.